Hi, I'm Mark Chapman, I'm Engineering Director on Bloodhound SSC, and here to introduce the monocoque. So when we first designed the car, we were in now 2008, we made this decision to split the car into two different sections. So the front part of the car is carbon fibre, and the rear part of the car is, is metallic structure. The reason for that was the front part of the car is really curvy. There's a lot of shape on the front of the car, and we need that for many reasons, one of which is for Andy to be able to see the ground, but also to control the airflow into the air intake into the EJ200. Now, doing that in a metal structure is really difficult. It's really complicated, and there's a lot of, a lot of work, a lot of fabrication to do to produce these shapes. So we went for a carbon fiber front structure. And this part here, the monocoque, is where Andy sits. It's his, his office, the cockpit. So with the monocoque itself, we've been really fortunate working with a huge number of partners on this, particularly SHD, who come up with the variety of fibers used on this. So we've got five different types of carbon fiber on this car. There's also aluminum honeycomb, and in some places it's over 25 millimeters an inch thick. It takes a huge amount of load and a huge amount of different systems that are bolted onto it. So we have, on the front here, we have the front suspension. We also have the blade that cantilevers off these mounting points here. And that takes all the fronts, front of the car that has the systems and the nodes. The rear of this monocoque section, we have the HTP tank. So the HTP tank here contains over one tonne of peroxide and actually just sits right behind where Andy Green is sat. So again, this huge safety cell is to make sure that the two most valuable parts of the car, so the, the rocket oxidizer and Andy Green, are kept as safe as possible.